Okay. <clears throat> now, in this particular simulation, we are going to study simulating shortcut distillation column. That means here you have to specify the feed. That means it's input, input, condition, and column specification should be what is the light key, what is the heavy key, and condenser. Is it total or reboot or what is all? Total or partial reboiler, of course, we choose it as partial. And then column specifications, one more specification in the condenser, we specify the reflux ratio. Okay. Like that, we give a minimum things. So, what is the system? Now we have to do, we have to do, uh, choose a system or for a particular system, we have to work. In this simulation, I'm choosing system to be as acetone and ethanol. So this becomes component one, this becomes component two because this boiling point is roughly around 56 degrees centigrade. This boiling, ethanol boiling point is 78 degrees centigrade. So this particular shortcut distillation column will help us to find minimum number of stages by Fensky equation. Reflux, minimum reflux ratio by Gilliland, uh, sorry, Underwood equation method and Gilliland correlation will give us number of equilibrium stages for reflux ratio greater than RR minimum or R minimum, whatever you can say. So it calculates all these things for us. So what is this quantity? What is this quantity? What is this quantity? And of course, where is the feed tray? So it gives us a list of, or a table we can actually utilize further. So let me wipe this all this off here. Yeah, everything is done. So what we are working at now, shortcut distillation column. So the shortcut distillation column, it employs Fensky underwood Gilliland correlation and with the given conditions, it calculates the required things. Now let us go to the shortcut column here. At the bottom in the columns you find, so you can see here mixers, exchangers, let me jump. Pressure changes, separators, mixers, exchangers, reactors, columns. Under columns, shortcut. So keep it here. Okay. This let us adjust a little bit here so that it looks good. Yeah. So this is energy stream. Let us keep it up. This is the overhead stream. And this is let me rotate so that it looks as if the energy is being given as input to the reboiler. So this is our what you call a problem ready or flow sheet ready. Yeah, so now next one is, I have chosen NRTL to be as the thermodynamic model. Let's come to the compound amounts. This is acetone 50% and methanol 50% stream conditions. 25 degrees centigrade is always specified, 25 degrees centigrade and this one. <clears throat> Let me actually take this temperature and pressure and change what you call kilomoles per hour. It is not allowing me to change. So I think I have to redo the entire operation because I was practicing in DWC. So it is actually not allowing me to do so. I am taking a new one. Go to the next, and then type here acetone, ethanol. I bring ethanol, and then say next. You choose 
an RTL model here. It is actually giving us the preferences which you can actually choose. So these are the most popular. You can say equations of state, you can check. And then you can say active equation methods. Wilson is also can be taken up. Okay. Let us check, uh, uh, let us take Wilson equation. Let's see whether we are successful or not. This is really, and then go to the next. Now I take C5, I integrate in kilopascals and then press next. So we are ready with our compound. Now again, go to the columns, shortcut column, keep it here. So this is the column which is ready. Let me adjust these things here or this adjustment and all you are, you can also do after looking at the video. Okay. How to adjust those things and all. I'm not going to narrate, but I just done it. Okay. Done. Now I go to the input. Compound amounts, the acetone ethanol all, already it is given as 50 50 percent. Now go to the stream conditions, temperature and pressure fixed, pressure is 101.325, temperature 25, and I'm specifying feed flow rate as 100 kilometers per hour. Let us see 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, so this is this, and then let me go to shortcut column. Let's say this inactivate, it says inactivate. Now activate now light component acetone, heavy component ethanol, and let me choose reflex ratio as three. Press enter. Okay. Now it says it has calculated successfully. The flow sheet was calculated successfully. It says flow sheet was calculated successfully, but still we are unable to see the result. Yeah, so here we have to say. Now it is it is ready to solve. Now I solve it. So now it is calculated. So you have to ensure it is properly calculating the results. Okay. Now let me reduce a little bit. So this is our you know, program or entirely it is run. You can see the energy levels here 1834.9 kilowatt, 1653.2 kilowatt. And uh, let us go to the column again. Let me dog this out. Okay. Now I want to see the results. Go to results, create report, and then I want to see column. Where is column? Shortcut columns. So this is shortcut column, shortcut column, shortcut column, right? Molar compositions and any other things, whatever is here. Let us see. Let us view the report. So this is the report, okay? In this report, uh, oh, I don't know whether you are able to see it or not, but let me actually show the report or output here itself in the general info. Now you see, minimum reflex ratio is given as 0.6743. Minimum number of stages is calculated, 6.85. Actual number of traces is 8.79. Optimal feed stage is given as 4.399. Stepping liquid, rectify liquid, stepping vapor, all this. Now, condenser duty, revolver duty is what is very important to us. So, this is the calculation with respect to the shortcut distillation column. Now, you see light key fraction in the bottom is 0 0.01. What is the light key here? Which is more volatile, acetone. Now, let us go and check whether in the top we got 99% of the Go to compound amounts. Now, you check the acetone. It is 0.99%. Beautiful. Now, bottom again, liquid. Now, check again the compound amounts. Ethanol should be 99%. So, ethanol also getting 19%. So, we have done our part. That means it is showing us now to continue with the regress distillation column to make up an optimization columns, optimization studies. Now, take this particular data minimum reflex ratio, minimum number of traces, actual number of traces. Now, if you want to increase the feed stage, what will happen? So what can be done? So what is actual minimum reflex ratio? 6 0.696734. So that means I don't have to use a reflex ratio of three. If I use a reflex ratio of two or even 1.5, so it is calculated now. What is the change you see after the simulation with the reflex ratio three, with the reflex ratio 2.5, with the reflex ratio two, with the reflex ratio 1.5? One 
0.5 is it possible with 0.5 or not because gilliland correlation doesn't allow you to do so gilliland equations calculate what you call number of equilibrium stages for the reflex ratio greater than minimal reflex ratio that is what you have to keep in mind okay 